CircuitPython is code plus community. And one of the best ways we have of celebrating that is with the Python on Microcontrollers newsletter. So this is a weekly newsletter. You can subscribe to it by going to adafruitdaily.com. Just put in your email address, uh, request the newsletters you'd like to get in your inbox. Uh, and you can also go and check them out here on the webpage itself. Right on the homepage is a link to this. Uh, and this is this week's episode or edition of the uh, Python on Hardware newsletter. Uh, and I'll just point out a couple things that I thought were uh, notable from this week's edition. First of all, there are now 100 CircuitPython Blinka compatible single board computers. So this is things like Raspberry Pis and Onion Pis and Rutabaga Pis and Asparagus Pis. I don't know all the, all the different ones, but if you're like me and don't know all of them, that's okay because this newsletter has you covered. You can go and click on uh, the link here and uh, check out all of the, uh, the a Beagle, there's another one, all of the different boards that are now compatible with Blinka. Uh, let's see, also we had, let me check my notes over here. Get this out of the way. Uh, oh, there was an advent of code calendar. This looks interesting. These are some small programming puzzles uh, that you can open up one little nuggety, bite-sized, little delicious uh, puzzle every day as an advent calendar. So there's a, a link there that'll take you to that. Uh, speaking of holidays, check out this, you guessed it, Hanukkah light, lightsaber. So uh, this is great. This is uh, a circuit playground blue fruit and a strip of 30 NeoPixels doing a persistence of vision uh, method where you can use long exposure photography and draw some different uh, Hanukkah based things in the air and take cool long exposure photos of them. There is uh, a menorah and some dreidels. And there's a nice little explanation of it in here. And this was found on Instagram. And by the way, if you find things that you think belong in any of our newsletters, there's a link at the bottom uh, that'll tell you how to go and submit those, uh, those changes or submit those news items. Uh, this is also another nice one. This is a 3D printed uh, Plex server using a Raspberry Pi, but it also uses CircuitPython, I believe, for uh, all of the display stuff to give you system statistics and, uh, and other information, IP address, uh, temperature, and other readouts there. So really cool looking Plex server or media server. Uh, and uh, here's another really nice one. This is our own uh, Toddbot everyone's Toddbot. He's not just our own. He's the world's Toddbot. And Toddbot created a really cool Pico Touch synthesizer, another in his ever-growing series of small PCB-based synthesizer things. Uh, this one has an octave uh, keyboard of capacitive touch uh, and also has reverse mount NeoPixels pointing up. And uh, he's, he's got some uh, tests up there. This was a link on Mastodon. You can go there and check it out um, or just enjoy this GIF of, of touching it because it's a touch synth. Uh, and uh, let's see, another one actually somewhat related was this one, which is Bobricious, if I'm getting that name right, created this uh, ArmaChat touch computer, and it also uses Touch.io to create this full uh, QWERTY keyboard with backlighting, and it's a PCB with um, a, a underglow type of technique where the solder mask has been uh, told not to go. Uh, and it's a, a really cool looking project. You can go check that out on Instagram and then find other links uh, for more information. And uh, the last one I thought was a really cute clippy there. Uh, and then the last one that I was gonna call out, but of, of course you can see there's lots and lots of stuff here I'm skimming over, so you should go check it out yourself, was, uh, where'd it go? It was the Pine 64. Pico-sized single board computer. I think I blew past it, didn't it? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Pine? Nope, nope, I'll keep going. Keep going. That was a little macro pad. There it is. Uh, so this is a, I don't know much about this and I, I must admit I haven't followed the link yet, but that is a Pi Pico form factor single board computer. Uh, so if you wanna learn more about that and all of these other interesting things, I'll just tease. There's another little new board right down there. Uh, the M0 Sense, risk-based computer, uh, or, or uh, microcontroller. These are all in the Python on Microcontrollers newsletter, so go check that out. All right, let me jump back here.